Hi everybody, in this final video we're going to take a look at the cartridge we just built and see if it works on an actual stock Atari 2600. So, I pre-prepared a little bit by attaching my heavy sixer to our LCD TV. The LCD TV is from about 2009 and the heavy sixer I believe is 1978. So, here's the Westworld cartridge we made. And we'll put it in. Let's start, turn on the TV. Takes a moment to warm up. It's on channel 3 already. And there's the familiar snow. Turn it on. And there it is, movie cart. So we can see that it's working. Yay. Now one thing I like to do on this TV, since this has happened before, see if you move up and down, I don't know if you can tell, but it's not interlaced properly like it should be. And that's because the Atari 2600 did not put a proper interlaced signal that modern TVs could tell which were even and which were odd frames. But on this particular model of LCD TV, if I just turn it off and on, then for some reason uh, it gets the interlacing right. And you can tell that by when you press up and down on the joystick, the letters bright, volume, and the shuttle control have no blank lines between them. So anyways, we'll turn it up and we'll take a look at what we got going. So the sound's pretty good. I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. Access Dallas is the vacation of the future today. At Dallas, you get your choice of the vacation. So it's not bad. You want. It's a little dark. Roman world. So I can turn it up, turn up the brightness a little bit. Pardon me, sir. What is your name? Uh, Gardner Lewis. Just got back from Westworld. Tell us how you like it, Mr. Lewis. When you play Cowboys and Indians. So it's not perfect, but it's not bad for uh, for this project. Much better than I ever hoped for. So I'll just pause and uh, check out some different scenes. It actually looks better the further away you are. I guess because your uh, eyes blend together all those uh, pixels. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I have another video describing what all the joystick and switch controls are. But one thing I should point out is the brightness will vary a lot depending on your model of TV. So on this particular TV, I went to menu, set up the uh, picture mode, and I picked a custom one where I was able to play with contrast and crank the brightness up to 100. Alternatively, you could just use the encoder to increase the brightness if it doesn't look quite right. Let's see. Just a minute. Looks pretty good. There's the old Brenner, the gunslinger. So if you know what the movie's about, you can follow along. I actually watched the entire movie only on movie cart so far to not have any preconceived notions. And I think I think I could tell most of everything that happened, maybe 95%. I definitely want to watch it in the original just to see the missing detail. One thing uh, I noticed, Westworld has a lot of scenes at, in the dark at night when they're setting up the robots and whatnot. 
So again, to do this properly, you may want to go scene by scene in the proper video editor and brighten everything up. So that's it. That's Movie Cart. I uh, hope you enjoy and check out the links I'll have if you're interested in uh, purchasing a circuit and building some of your own. Thanks. Bye-bye.